Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back. I am Christian Cunningham and today we'll be talking about short films, specifically solo short films. And today I'll be giving you guys 10 tips on how to make better solo short films or things that will help you in making your first solo short film. So for those of you who don't know, I recently made a two part short film that's posted on my channel. I'll link it in the cards up here. And I'll also put them down below in the description. So feel free to check it out and come back and watch this one. Okay, so when I say solo short film, I mean that you're the person doing absolutely everything. You are doing the video, you're doing audio, you're doing editing, you're doing light, you're doing the acting, directing, script writing, everything that involves making a short film, you're the person doing it. So this is like tip 0 0.1, not, not tip number one. But like the first thing, if you can, don't do a solo short film. It is hard and it takes a lot out of you. So if you can get at least one person to help you with making your short film, that would be extremely beneficial and you can thank me later. Okay, so tip number one. It's the most obvious one because if you'll be doing the acting as well as the videoing, you can't act and video at the same time. So the first thing you shall need is to invest in a tripod whether it is that you're filming on your phone or on a camera you will need a tripod just like i'm using now to film myself that way you can be in one place and the camera is recording you while you do your acting there are some shots that you can get away with just putting your camera on top of a rock on the ground wherever but for the best results it is good to have a tripod that way you won't have to worry about it you always have a stand with you wherever you go tip number two so seeing that you will be the only person working, acting, editing, filming, try to keep it as short as possible. I'm not telling you to cut your ideas short, but make the film as short as it needs to be. Nothing extra, nothing fancy, because it is a lot of work. And if like myself, you don't have a flip out screen or a monitor, you will spend literally hours trying to get one simple shot of you walking because you don't know if you're in focus you don't know if you're in frame and you'll be doing a whole bunch of back and forth so try to limit the amount of time that you plan for your short film to be that way you spend less time filming and it's less stress and work for you as well tip number three it's a part of the previous tip but keep your story simple doesn't have to be vague but keep it simple bear in mind that it's a short film bear in mind that you're the only person working so you won't be filming the next avengers or the next spider-man so keep it as simple as you can while keeping the storyline intact the fourth tip which is coming off of the last tip make sure you have a strong story short films are usually a minute to maybe 15 minutes but seeing that you are the only person working i'm guessing it's maybe between a minute and up to five minutes max so it's not a lot of space to put a whole bunch of things in it so you have to make sure that whatever is in it is very important and it adds to the story your story has content your story has a proper plot it's going somewhere and there is some payoff you guys can look up different ways to make your story stronger. You know, most films follow the three act structure. You don't have to stick to it. But if you're making your first short film and you're doing it solo, it's best to stick to the three act structure. That way you kind of know where you're coming from, where you're going, and it helps you to build out your story. It makes it a bit easier. Tip number four and a half. If you guys are finding value in my content so far, Please feel free to drop a like down below and if you want to see more of my content, hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Tip number five, if you're like me and you don't have an amazing memory, it's best for you to have a shot list or a storyboard if you can. Believe me, this will come in extremely clutch because when you're running around trying to get focused, trying to change outfits for acting trying to remember lines for your script, trying to, you know, just do everything all at once. It's going to be extremely important to have a shot list 
so you know what's coming up next what you need to shoot what you've already shot and just to ensure that you get every single thing that you need that way when you're going to edit you don't realize that oh i missed a very important shot or i forgot to get this detail shot you know personally i use notion to make my shot list and i kind of organize them based on location based on the character or clothing based on the scene or the different lighting so it's kind of easy to use notion i just have it on my phone and i check off everything as i go by you don't have to use notion you can use your notes app if you're more hands-on you can have your journal or a piece of paper that you write it on and you just cross them off as you go by it's also beneficial to add storyboarding with your shot list that way you know exactly what your shot will look like and it makes it easier to frame and compose and you have a fair idea of what you have in focus or where to focus the different settings that you'll need in your camera you know it's, it just makes things easier okay tip number six if you guys have watched short films on youtube or wherever you'll notice that if there's only one actor or it's you know just really short films you won't have that much dialogue oftentimes you may have some dialogue but it's best when making your short film especially a solo short film have as little dialogue as possible to make your story if your story needs dialogue by all means put it in but when doing a solo short film it's best to structure your story in a way that you won't need dialogue it would be perfect if you don't have to have any dialogue at all and still have a strong story but you know for just to be safe just have as little dialogue as possible because it will be easier for you in editing it will be easier for the audience to kind of distinguish between different characters or what's happening so yeah tip number seven this kind of piggybacks off the last tip which is show don't tell if you've done any research at all when it comes to filmmaking whether it's short film feature film documentaries they always say it's best to show the audience rather than to tell them so instead of having a whole bunch of text on screen trying to explain what's happening or you have a whole bunch of dialogue to try to help the audience to understand what's happening make whatever footage that you have tell the story a strong story can be told with just the footage alone so say for example you have two persons interacting you have person a and person b but they dislike each other rather than having them walking by each other and say oh i really hate that guy or i'm having beef with that person show them having a very disgusted or very annoyed look on their face and that will automatically tell the audience that okay there's something up with these two they don't seem to get along so you don't have to tell the story but rather show it with your footage okay so this next tip is kind of a three-in-one first part of it is have as little characters as possible this should be fairly obvious because if you're going to be the one filming as well as acting it's kind of impractical to have seven eight ten different characters in a three minute film which will be all played by the same person so try to have as little characters as possible however with your different characters make sure that you have a key distinguishing feature that each character has seeing that it will be played by the same person as to avoid unnecessary confusion make sure that each character has a distinguishing feature that as soon as you see them you can tell that okay this is not the same person from before this is a new character either being introduced or reappearing into the film and the third part of this tip is to preface or kind of lead up to introducing new characters because if you have the first scene of the character talking or at home and then you have a second scene with your character in a different location if you don't insinuate to the audience or preface to the audience that there is going to be somebody else they will assume that it's the same person because you're the only one acting you're the only person playing all these roles so take my short film for example we have a scene where the character is 
hiding from somebody and he needs help he needs somebody to rescue him so he makes a phone call requesting help and the person on the other end of the phone says okay i'll send somebody for you immediately after that scene it cuts to the person walking but because you have the information that somebody is coming to get him when you see the same face however but in different clothing you don't think that it's the same person in a different location your brain automatically says all right these these are the persons or this is the person that he was talking about on the phone this is not him he's back there he just made a phone call to get these people or this person to come and help him so this is who we must be seeing now you get what i'm saying so find ways to introduce your characters before you show them on screen that way the audience doesn't get confused and think it's the same person tip number nine always shoot wider than you need so if you have the benefit of using a wide angle lens use it or if not if you're using your phone just put your phone further back so you have more in frame than you need so say for example you have a box here and this is what you need in frame you want the microphone in frame rather than just focusing right here on the microphone shoot a bit wider seeing that you will only have your camera on a tripod and there will be no motion instead of having an entire short film of just static shots cutting to different static shots if you shoot wider you have the ability to create fake movement when editing you can do slow zoom ins zoom out you can do different pans so shoot wider trust me it's always better and the final tip strengthen your story in post-production so in editing seeing that you are doing mostly shots on your tripod or if you're skilled enough you may have other shots of yourself without it being on a tripod use your editing to make your story stronger or make it more interesting or appealing as i said in the previous tip you can shoot wider that way you can crop in fake movement but also another strong part that will help to strengthen your story is with your audio and your sound design so try as best as possible to have a good sounding audio and a well-developed sound design try to make your scene as immersive as possible so rather than having a guy walk down the street have the person walking but you can hear the footsteps you can hear the wind you can hear birds in the background you can hear cars passing by if somebody is on the phone make sure you have the phone ringing if they answer it make sure you have a clicking sound all these little things will add to strengthen your story if you watch my short film you'll see that all those the things i try my best to pay attention to the details so whatever you see there's a sound attached to it to make it more believable to make it more immersive to make the audience feel like it's of a higher quality than it is if you may you can really level up your videos in post-production don't just leave it as the raw footage stitches together drop some music and upload and that's another thing add fitting music or sounds to your video if you have somebody being chased have some thriller sounds have some intense music if you have somebody relaxing or on a beach have some calm tranquil sounds to play in the background just make sure whatever audio you have matches whatever you're seeing on video put some effort into it thank you guys for watching i hope you found value in this video and if you want me to talk more about my experience making my very first short film Please let me know in the comments down below as to the information that you'd want me to tell you or what part of my experience you guys would like to know about. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Can you just talk about this new setup? Like, this is nice. I'm liking the vibe of what's happening. Got some new stuff, rearranged my room and it's a vibe. It's nice. I like it. Alright, bye.